Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for my Try It Out Tuesday. Well, today we're going to be using this stamp set from the stamp market. I had cookies and donuts on the brain, and so when I saw this little stamp set, and then um, I also saw a little donut stamp set from the stamp market, but I picked them both up. Um, this one set is Love and Cookies, super cute. Uh, price point was great, so I picked up the coordinating dies. And then... Um, I thought we'd make a cookie card today. I, th I think all month long it'd be fun to create some sweet cards. So we're going to jump in and do some stamping. Um, the only image that I'm using in the stamp set is the circle cookie. Um, we're going to stamp this on some Nina 80 pound cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink quite a few times. I stamped um, more than I needed, but later on I colored those in and um, added them on the inside of my card but I'm stamping quite a few we only end up using six for the outside of the card but after we have our cookie base stamped we get to fill it in um, there's a little stamp that has um, outlines of circles that are perfect for chocolate chips so I'm gonna ha add some chocolate chips to um, three of my cookie no I end up, I think I end up st um, adding chocolate chips to four but um, after we have these little goodies stamped, I, I did notice in the stamp set that there's a solid image that you could fill in your chocolate chips with, um, with your, your ink. But since I'm going to Copic color my cookies, I thought I'll just fill in the chocolate chips with my Copic markers. But there's an option in that little stamp set for you to do that. Now I'm going to create a few little Linzer cookies by adding a heart to the center of three of them. And then for the other two, I'm going to leave blank. Um, I'm, there's a little sprinkle image in the stamp set, and I want to add some sprinkles. But I'm going to sorry, start coloring. Um, I left my caps out for you guys, but while I color, I'm going to play a little bit of music. And then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now we get to add our little sprinkles. So I'm going to use a few of my MFT inks. The first one is Red Hot. And I'm going to add a few little pinkish, reddish sprinkles to my two solid cookies here. And then I'm going to bring in some brown. The brown ink is actually the same ink that I'm going to be using for my sentiment. It's chocolate brown. We'll add a few brown sprinkles and you can see here I went with a, a pink and brown cookie theme I just love those colors um, I thought we'd throw in a little bit of extra color using some sour apple ink a little bit of green and I think that looks great okay I'm going to take the coordinating die and cut each one of my cookies out and then um, once everything is die cut out we're going to work on our background panel We'll just put these aside. Now I want to bring in some pattern papers for my stash. Um, a few of the pattern papers, I couldn't tell you where I got them only because um, I've had them for a long time. I'm so sorry. But I know everybody has stripes and pink pattern paper. So I'm using this die set. This die set I believe came 
free with my Gemini Junior. <laughs> um, I didn't label it. I'm so sorry about that. But I thought it was a fun little shape and something a little bit different. I'm going to also take a stitched rectangle die and cut out a panel using this pink pattern paper. Um, this panel size will end up being four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to remove. I'm going to create a frame with the white cardstock, and then I'm going to use that inside piece also. But I'm going to also die cut out um, the largest of the dies here with the green pattern paper. So these are all my elements. I wanted to back my green pattern paper with some white cardstock, so that's why I created a frame. But um, I I didn't have a larger die for this, so I just trimmed it in half and now I'm going to use my glue and add a little bit to the top piece and we're going to adhere it. Just I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more against that pink background. I think this is a great way to do it. We're going to add the bottom piece. Now um, the where the pieces don't meet I wasn't too worried about that because um, it's going to overhang on the paper just a little bit and I can trim that off. Okay, using my tape runner, I adhered that to my panel. And then um, next we're gonna arrange our little cookies on our very our white panel here. Um, I wanted three on the top and then three on the bottom, kind of overlapping them. So I'm kind of playing around with my placement. Um, I didn't want two of the same cookies together, so I'm happy with this, but I'm not happy with that background. <laughs> so I am going to go through my pattern papers and find a background that I'm going to be happy with. Um, the background has like little, the pattern wasn't flowing right for me. So I'm using a paper pad from American Crafts, I believe, no, Simple Stories, and it is called snap color vibe. It has stripes and polka dots and then a chevron print on in here and I ended up using the pink and white polka dot, the larger polka dot. Um, I just thought it would go a lot nicer with my background and then the color kind of went a little bit better too. So I'm going to remove my old paper, put the new paper down. It's the same panel size and I was happier with this outcome. I thought it was more fun since we're making a cookie card, I thought we'd make it nice and cheery. Okay, I'm going to add some foam squares behind each one of my cookies. And then I'm just going to adhere them to my little white panel. Once they're all adhered, I think they look so cute. Kind of looks like a little plate. <laughs> little plate of cookies. I'm going to add some foam squares behind this panel. And then we're going to pop that up and place it in the center of our, our pattern paper here. Okay, using my tape runner, I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. And then for my sentiment, we're going to stamp the sentiment. There's two sentiments in the stamp set. One says, you're the, you're the sweetest, and then the other one says, peace, love, and cookies. So I chose, you're the sweetest. We're going to make a just because card, and I'm again, I'm using the milk chocolate ink to stamp that and then I'm going to take some of my sentiment dice and um, die cut out a little sentiment here and then I'm going to use my glue and go ahead and since my cookies had enough dimension on there I just wanted to glue it down to the center of my cookies. Now somehow I lost my footage um, when I was decorating my sprinkles but I used some Nouveau Glitter Drops in chocolate fondue for my chocolate chips. I just added dots on top of them and then for the little swirl on my sugar cookie with the sprinkles I used Nouveau um, Crystal Drops and Simply White and then for the little heart on my Linzer cookie I added some Morning Dew, Nouveau Morning Dew Drops and then added some chunky glitter just so it would stick down. But that's my card for today, guys. Super fun. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you a lovely and sweet day. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're interested in any of the products, guys, I'll link them down below in the description area. But we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.